Hey everybody, how are you today? I'm making this video for those of you that we missed seeing today on Zoom for our first week of our July um, Vacation Bible School that we call Brave. That's the name of our Vacation Bible School this year because we are talking about um, four different stories, one each week in July, about when people were brave with God's help to do big things. Um, and our first story is about Joshua and Jericho. And so I'm just going to catch you up on what you missed. And um, I hope that you can come another time. Maybe next Monday you can come. Or some other time this month. And I want to show you what's in your bag and help you understand what to do with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, explain what this is. You probably found this in your bag. This is a crest. It's what we call a crest. And it's going to be kind of a keepsake that um, you'll make. Each week you'll do a different thing to it. And by the time you finish, it'll be a nice wall hanging to hang in your room. So how do we do it? What do we do? Well, it came with a board that you can glue it to. And you'll see that there are two holes at the top, and that's for the thread that's in your bag. And I'm looking, my desk is a mess after three sessions of um, VBS, but there it is. So it came with a little Ziploc bag at the top, um, paper clipped, and in the bag is a string that you can tie to each side so that you can hang it you can hang it on your wall, on a nail on your wall, or however you want to, whatever you want to do with it. It also came with some stickers. These stickers. Stickers are of some animals that we typically think of as brave. We have a lion and a wolf and a bear. So you can pick out which animal you like the best, and that animal goes in the middle. And it says VBS 2020. And so you'll put your animal there, and it says Brave up at the top, and you'll put your name in this ribbon here. Just write your name right along there. Um, at the bottom is another ribbon, and in that ribbon, you're going to write your memory verse. And I realized I made a mistake, and I did not write that verse down for you in the instructions. The verse is from Joshua 1.9, and I'll include a card right here, a, a picture of it. So that you can copy it down. It's something like, be strong and brave, don't be afraid, because God will be with you wherever you go. If that sounds familiar, it's because that verse is the verse that we chose to put on the door on the children's hall in between Lula Wilden on one side and St. Francis on the other at the very end of the children's hall. Next time we're at church, whenever that may be, who knows, you'll have to look and see if you can find that verse. It's right on the wall. So that will go down at the bottom. So we've got your name here, the verse here, the animal here, and then you're going to draw something for this week about the story that we're going to talk about. The story that we're talking about this week, again, is Joshua and Jericho. Um, and it also includes Rahab. But once you hear the story, you can draw something in this block that will help you remember the story. It could be Rahab, it could be Joshua, it could be a wall. Now, what is the story anyway? I'm going to include maybe right up here. Um, a link to watch the story. So that's the most important thing that we do today in Vacation Bible School is to hear this amazing story about this really weird way that God had in mind for Jericho to, uh, for Joshua to take the city of Jericho without anybody getting hurt. It's a crazy way. Usually to take a city you would have to have a battle. Well, God had something else in mind for Joshua, and Joshua was brave enough to do it, even though it made, it made him look silly and strange and crazy. He did it, and the walls came tumbling down. 
So take a minute, click on the link, and go watch that story, and then come back. All right, hopefully you watched the story and saw the amazing way that God had in mind for them to take that city, for Joshua to take the city. So who was brave in this story? What do you think? Joshua was brave. Who else? Rahab was brave to take in the spies, to trust in God that they wouldn't hurt her or that she wouldn't get caught and be hurt because of her being brave. And all the people who participated, all of God's people who went, walked around, marched around Jericho, blowing their horns and yelling just because God told them to. Do you think you would have been brave enough to do that? I hope I would have, but I'm not sure. It's kind of a crazy thing to do. So that's the story, and now I'm going to explain what else is in your bag and what to do with it. Let's do the horn first. You may have seen this in your bag, a garden hose, a piece of a five foot long piece of garden hose, and a funnel on one end. And it may have a metal on the other, a piece of metal on the other end, or it may not. Some of them do and some of them don't. We're going to make, take that, and we're going to make this out of it. How about that? And it does kind of work. You have to, you could blow into it, and you might be able to get a noise, but you might want to sing into it or make a noise into it. It really does amplify the sound. So how do you do that? The instructions are on a piece of paper that's inside your kit, but basically you're going to take the duct tape that's included with your kit, and if you want to, you don't have to do this part. This is your horn. You can do it however you want. You decorate it with pieces of tape along the hose. And then you're going to squish it together and take one big piece of tape. It may take your parents helping you with this. It's kind of hard to do. And take a big piece and wrap it tight so that it looks more like this. See? And then I took another piece here and another piece here so that it won't uncoil. And then it's ready. And if you want to, you can decorate the funnel itself and then try it out. It's kind of a fun thing to do. So that's your horn made from a garden hose. What else have we got to do? Well, how about a snack? And this snack is kind of big, so it could feed a lot of people. Inside your bag, you'll find some frosting. The frosting is gonna serve as glue, and it is made, there's enough here to do a whole bunch of these. So you're gonna use just a teensy, teensy, tiny bit today, and then you'll use some next week and the week after that. So you're gonna keep it, don't throw it away when you're done with it. Keep it in the fridge for the next time that you use it. I can't remember if we use it next week or the week, but I know we use it the week after and I, maybe the week after that, I'm not sure. So it'll keep really well in the fridge. So this is gonna be your glue. Do you know what we're gonna make? Can you look at the supplies and guess? Let's see, what have we got? We've got a rice cake, and by the way, if you have allergies, you wanna let your parents look over all of this and make sure it's okay. If I think you might have allergies, I believe I stuck a sheet in there with all the labels from everything that we have. Um, but check and make sure that that's all right, that it's okay for you to eat. This is our city of Jericho, okay? So take this out when you're ready to start and put frosting all along the edge because you're gonna build a wall. What are you gonna use to build a wall? The graham crackers. So you're going to take out the graham crackers and take them out, um, out of the bag and into individual pieces and then put each piece around the um, Jericho so that you have a wall. I'll show you in a minute a, fin a finished example um, so that you can see what it could look like. What do you think the bugles are for? Bugles <laughs> for horns, but who's going to play them? The Teddy Grahams. The Teddy Grahams are going to be our people, God's people who walk around the city. So you'll have a plate, you'll put the rice cake on it, you'll surround it 
with the wall of graham crackers. You'll have the Teddy Grahams blowing their bugle horns. And then there's a Twizzler. What do we think that is? It's red. It's a cord. It's Rahab's cord. So make sure to attach that to the wall too. And then I hope before you dive in and make the walls come tumbling down and eat it all up, I hope you'll take a picture, get your parents to take a picture and send it to me because I would love to see a picture of you with your Jericho and all the things that go with it. And the horn too, take a picture of that. That would make my day to get a picture of you with your horn. All right, what else do we have? We have, if you open up the instructions, there, some things will fall out. You will see some puzzles to do, a couple of mazes and some other puzzles. You'll also see a, whoops, a city of Jericho wall, a section of the wall, and you'll see the spies. So what you can do is color the spies and then cut them out and Use the red piece of yarn, which I can't find right now, but it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Use this. You can see that there's little circles. That's for punching a hole. And then lace the yarn through it, and they can climb up to um, be safe in Rahab's home, which is part of the Wall of Jericho. So that's something fun to do. If you're if you need something fun. And I think that's about it. Oh, one other thing. When your parents picked up your kit, hopefully they also picked up a rock. Now, why would I have sent you a rock? Can you think of what it might have to do with the story from today? When the walls came tumbling down, the walls were made of stone, right? Of stones stacked on each other. And so this can help you remember that story but it's also going to help you remember to be brave because what I would like for you to do is to first wash it off so that paint will stick to it. So wash it off and dry it sometime this week or this month. You don't have to do it this week. Um, whenever you want. And it's going to be your brave stone. So what I would like for you to do is to either write the word brave or be brave or you could write the whole memory verse. Be strong and be brave. Don't be afraid, for God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. And I'll put that at the end, too, so that you can see it. But if you want to write the whole verse, that's a lot of writing. But you can do it if you want. Your parent also picked up a paint pen. You can use that. If you have paints at home, use your paints at home to decorate it however you want. This is yours. You can do with it what you want. But I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to put it by the side of the road where, wherever you live and let people be inspired by something you made about being brave because it's a good time in our world to be brave. It's always a good time to be brave. But we might need a little reminder right now about being brave, doing hard things like having to stay home all the time. That's no fun. But we can be brave, we can do hard things, and this will be a reminder to you. So at some time during the next month, I hope that you'll paint your stone and put something on there about being brave. Okay, so we've got the crest, the horn, the snack, and the rock. I think that's it. I hope you have a fabulous week, and I hope you'll join us next time, next Monday, the same time that, you join, that um, we usually do it, 10 o'clock for rising second and third graders, 11 o'clock for rising fourth and fifth graders, and one o'clock for rising sixth graders. I hope I see you then. See ya. Love you folks. Miss ya. Bye.